Hey, what's going on? It's MY here, All the Ports Adventures. And today, on this episode of Garage Talk, we are installing a windshield and windshield wiper kit on a Maverick X3. Can Am, baby. So, as you can see, I already got it installed on my Can Am windshield. Look at that Can Am hard coat and the windshield wiper kit. So, my buddy RC picked up a 2021 Can Am Maverick X3 XMR. So that's our next mission. So we're gonna get that installed and take y'all on this journey. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get these tools out and get the wrenching. Woo! So first thing first, go ahead and open up the windshield wiper kit. Make sure you got all your components. Got your harness, water bottle, bracket for the motor, motor, motor components, switch, tube for the sprayer, screws for the actual motor, wiper arm, blade, and mounting bracket for the container. Oh, of course, and the most critical component, make sure you download those templates, man, because this thing has a lot of cutting and a lot of hole drilling into your brackets. Shouldn't need this on a newer model. And then, of course, all your instructions. So what we'll do now, let's start tearing this thing apart. Oh. All right, so first thing we do is start removing this front clip. It's like a bit on here. And then we gotta remove driver side dash, this cover, these clips, and lift this up. So take this out, and then it's a bracket in a rivet in here you gotta drill out, and I'll show you that. And once we expose all this, you can get the cutting. Alright, so we got the front clip off. We've got the dash lifted. We got the center console lifted. So what we need to do is get these two out the way. Then it's this bracket that these sit on. It's a rivet you gotta drill out, pull it out the way. And that gives you space to run that motor down into here. So not much changed from my 2020 to his 2021. He just has this winch solenoid right here. But other than that, I should be able to get in here pretty easy. So we're going to get ready to start pulling this out. Yeah. All right. So we have the two brake reservoirs unbolted. And I don't know if you can see it, but right here, I'm pretty sure you can. I'll try to. Oh, my goodness. So right there. Maybe you can see it, but sorry. There is a rivet right here in between the two to take this bracket off that you gotta drill out. So you drill it out with a 13 64th drill bit and then this bracket could come out and give you space again, like I said earlier, to get down in here. All right, let's drill that out. This is the aftermath for drilling out that rivet right there. But look at all that space now. You can get your whole hand in there, so. We'll get to next phase is start cutting this hole off and getting these bolts set for the motor, the wiper motor. All right, now let's refer back to the instructions here. Let's see. Yep, yep. Water bottle, water bottle. That's where we want to start right here. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this motor going, because to me, that's the hardest part. So, it's assembly, assembly, and then that's what I was looking for. So, it's a three-quarter inch hole that'll be drilled right there. All right, let's keep getting it. All right, so I've cut out the template, so right, just make sure you put it in place. See where your hole's at, because you need to understand exactly where 
you're going to mount this bracket. Because if you mount it to these holes, it throws you over that way. You go to that hole, and that's a little better. So make sure you download that template, man. It's very, very essential, very crucial to make sure your holes line up. All right. Bring that back over and grab two of your screws and mount it on. All right, so now it's time to drill the hole. So grab your three quarter inch hole saw. I'll put that together. And just to verify, I kind of try to make sure. Yeah, that's a pretty tight fit. So you have to go over those threads nicely. So we'll do that. Get that hole dr drilled and come right back to you all right so the fit next thing we do is drill the other holes for the actual bracket the holes in place all right so the template is down you come in punch these little holes out and you mark where your holes shall be there you go one two three these two here for the bolts are 3 a that's quarter inch. All right. All right. So the motor's in. She's nice and tight. Bolt's in. Nothing's moving. To me, that's the hardest part. So got that knocked out. Your sprayer will go in there. A little spray nozzle. So we'll blow everything out and get any metal shavings and plastic shavings out. And get ready to start putting it back together. All right. Here we go. Now that we got the motor in, next thing we need to do is pull out this pass, pull out the passenger seat, and get to these panels so we can get to electrical. That's where your positive, negative, 12 volt, and your ACC switch are. So come right through this boot right here, and your washer motor will jack it up. Take this shock out to get that washer uh, tank in there. So that's our next step: is to pull the seat out and get access. All right, so we done got these out, got that out. You see your pass through. So we can come up, come through here, and pass through that portion there. And here's the harness. So when you look at it, this is your button, or your switch, positive, negative, and that needs to go through that hole. So. We can get ready to pass that through right now. We done got the harness ran through. As you can see, we came on up through there. And if we can look down in here, that is where the wiper motor plugs into the harness. So we got that in place. Now we come here, and this is for your button. So you're gonna bring that up through here and hook that in there for the button. So we're getting there. All right. The next thing we wanna do is go ahead and put the bracket on the tank. So here's the tank, flip it over. Here's your bracket. Now, these angles come up because it goes around the curve. So these angles come up here. So what we'll do is line this up and use the push pins to put it together. So we're gonna pop those in. Here we go, we're gonna pop those in and get this tank put together. So this is the next step. All right, so can m says use a quarter inch hole for this. I don't know how, I always use a half inch so I can get it all the way, push this all the way down into the plastics. So I've already connected the holes to it. So we can slide this through. This is the result. After doing a half inch hole, you can get the spray nozzle flush all the way down there. She's pretty tight. All right, so we got everything buttoned back up. Now it's time to pop these shocks open. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and flip them and get that tank installed. And we have the tank put together. So again, it's two push pins at the top. This kit actually comes with a bolt and nut combination. So. Got all this in, so time to get her going. All right, so we got the shocks out. 
And since we were taking them out anyway, we decided to go ahead and flip them. So basically taking this side to this side, this side to this side, so that the reservoir will stick out instead of in. So that would also help with room to put this tank in. So you don't have to flip them to put the tank in, but it definitely gives you a lot more room and clearance. So the next step is to get this to here. And they give you some rivets to put in here, but I like to use the self-tap screw. So I'll show you that it's easier in the future if you ever have to remove this tank to get into your firewall pass through. All right. All right, so I went on and clipped in my harness and put on the washer tube that goes up to the sprayer. So let's try to squeeze her in place. Hey, getting that tank in is a humdinger. I don't know why I said that, but we got it in. I'm gonna show you something. That top one right there is hell to do by yourself. You gotta push the tank in, get that flush against the wall, and then try to get all that uh, pushed in at the same time. So I did that. Tried to drill out that rivet, end up taking the screw, and went straight through a little short screw to hold it tight. But she's not going anywhere. It's pretty firm in there. So we good to go. On to the next step, reinstalling the shocks. All right. What I want to do is test the system real quick. So here are your wires, red, black, red to your ACC, black to your ground, of course. So we'll hook these up and then make sure the sprayer and everything works. Then I'm gonna put the shocks back in. All right, here we go. This is a 10 mil, by the way. Alright, so let's see what we got. So here's your wiper. Switch off on. It's running as you can see. And then you press it to hold it up to spray. Alright, so we got water. And everything's off. So it all works. Now it's time to reassemble all right so now that we got the shocks back in flipped we tested out this this is nice and rigid everything's in place we got the dashboard button back in so we took the windshield out the box so this will be our next mission is to get this windshield assembled and put up there all right let's see what's in the box so as you open the box, this is what you got. You got the straps that go around the top to the bar. You got your clips that go on the bottom. Screws. Then these are your side clips that clip to the actual bar. And of course you get your can and decals. So we'll start assembling this good old windshield and getting it put on. Alright, to put these clamps in, which are sitting here like so and cold clothes to hold the windshield down. I had to take these off and you're gonna hit these two divots with a 932nd drill bit. And I'll give you room for this piece here to slide in and then you'll run a screw through this hole. So we're gonna do that right now. All right. And then install like that, the windshield falls down and then you close that over it to hold the windshield in place. So we'll go ahead and do the other side. And I would recommend to always stick your hand back there and make sure you're not going to drill a hole into something that you shouldn't. Which I've already done.
That's it. Now, on to the next step. All right, so this unit already had the roof installed. So you had to pop, pop these little clips out undo the Velcro strap, lift the roof up, lay the windshield in place. So now you can see what these little clips are for. So you just go in here and that closes and locks it in place. Then you got the hooks to go here. Then you got two Velcro straps to go through these holes around this roll bar. So we're gonna do that. All right, so as you can see how these go in, go in the hole facing that way. You got a little tab on the back that you push down once you get it through. <clears throat> so you just pull it through and push. And then you reach around back and you can grab that tab. Let me show you that tab right there. Just pull this tab and push at the same time. All right, so Velcro straps, push them through this hole. Pretty straightforward. Pull it around. Oops, a little too far. And then you just double back on yourself. Like so. And you pull it tight. All right, and that's pretty much it. So there's your Velcro connections. I hope you can see that. See it? Velcro. All right, so all that's done, the windshield is in it complete. Button it up again. All righty, all right. So now that everything's put back together, boom, windshield's in, dash is in, roof's clipped back down. So, now that all that's complete, time to put the wiper arm on and adjust that. So it's your standard, I wanna say U, if I remember that's the proper time. So I'll just put the blade, or hook style J-hook, that's what it is. You put your J-hook style blade on, set it up on the windshield, and then make adjustments. So, let's get ready. All right, so we got the wiper put together and what we'll do is get ready to put it on the motor. What I like to do first is cut the key on and cycle it a couple times. So you can see that. And that way I know it's stopping in the far left or passenger side position. And then we can put the blade where we feel it needs to be. All right, so you slide it in place. This is a 13 millimeter. And you tighten it down where you want it. Then we go back and we try it again. That looks pretty good. All right. And it stops where I want it to stop. So I'm gonna give it another tight, make another quick snug. I know she's not going anywhere. And then we just gotta put the little cap on there to protect the nut. Which is located right here. But well, you know what? I think that was supposed to go on first. It was. So I'm gonna change that around. Didn't realize that. Until now, I get close and remember what it is. But this actually goes below the arm. So we'll back this off, slide this back on to protect the threads up here. And then we'll be ready to go. All right. All right. So put that little cap on like I should have in the first place. Got the nut tightened down under the cap. Had to heat this up a little bit with a heat gun. This little hose here to slide it over. But I got that done, so that's on. And now we'll go ahead and test it out. As long as the key is still on, and it is. So here's the wiper. Here's the sprayer. Hey. Cut it off, and it stops. All right. So that is the installation. 
of the windshield and wiper motor kit. And this is the hard coat Can-Am windshield. So I know people are asking before, wouldn't that wiper scratch up your windshield? Well, what I've noticed, and even on Can-Am site, it states that this kit is an option. And I'm assuming the hard coat does not cause any scratching or the hard coat prevents the pilot from scratching. I've ran it on my machine for about a month or so now and haven't seen any additional scratches from what I caused myself. So this is the setup. And the only thing we got left to do is put the front clip on and to be ready to hit them trails. So y'all stay tuned, man, and let's get it finished up completely. All right, so I told you we got to finish up the assembly. And the last, last step is to trim off this piece of the front clip. So here's your template. Remember I said at the beginning, make sure you download your templates. I'm going to cut this out and trim that off so this front clip will be able to go back on. So let's get the cutting. All right, so what I normally do is get a piece of blue painter's tape, lay my template down, and then go across it with a Sharpie. So I know exactly where I'm cutting, and then we whip out the Dremel. All right, so here's my line I need to cut. No, I'm not gonna cut it on top of the tire. Here's the Dremel. So let's get ready to chop her up. All right, so the cut is done. Next thing to do is throw her up there. Oh yeah. Almost finished. All right, so we're all done. Got a button back up, put back together. My groove is cut out. So now, let's just turn on some accessories. Let's check the lights. Oh, the lights are still working. I have to take the clip off. High beams, lights off. Check the wiper. All right, wiper's running. Give it a little water spray. Ooh. All right. There she go. She got her all done. Cut it off. And it stops. All right, so we're all done. Got my buddy RC's XMR put back together. So thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. He's got a little sweat in this one, but uh, thank y'all very much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. More videos to come. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, man. And we're going to keep getting it out there for you. So next time we out, come on and ride with us, man. Off the porch adventures. Come on and get out and get off the porch. All right, Richard Carson. Yes, sir. Oh, see, just got your X3 back. You ready to get it dirty now? First, I'm going to clean it and make it shine. So when it goes down the highway, y'all be like, I know that thing ain't going to get dirty. But it, it going to. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to make somebody up by can I am Calvin Richardson. I ain't going to call them things. <laughs> Oh, dirty. <laughs> so, hey, man, man, off the porch, hooked me up. Hey, uh, it's great, man. Very blessed and thankful. I oh, should have did man. this, what, two years ago? You should have, when we first <laughs> talked about it. Yeah, when I wouldn't go out. I'm not going to say I told you so, but yeah. I told you so. Yeah, yeah, you told me. That's all right. <laughs> I'm in the game now. <laughs> it's about $40,000 later. <laughs> All right, partner. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, man, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do that crazy. Go ahead and try to uh, wipe them. Make sure you like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See yeah, yeah. I can see tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No oh. doubt, man. Hey, yeah, got it done, man. So we out of here. Yeah. We gonna holler at y'all, man. OTP. Yeah. RC, let's get it.